In a world of hierarchical social structures and power dynamics, alpha males hold a top spot in the food chain. They are the leaders of the pack, with their aggressive and dominant attitude. Sigma males are the type of men who stand on the sidelines, observing keenly and silently calculating every move, never afraid to step in when necessary. As these two kinds of men navigate an ever-changing universe, something interesting happens. Alpha males never cross paths with Sigma males. But why is that? It's a question that has been asked many times before, and one that still baffles people today. Some believe it is a fundamental law of nature, while others think it is merely a matter of respect. Whatever the truth may be, here are 10 reasons why alpha males never cross sigma males. Number 1. Sigma's Unknown Peril The last thing you want is to cross a sigma male, as his unpredictability is one of his greatest weapons. While an alpha will take direct action to protect himself, a sigma can quickly turn any situation on its head with an unexpected move that catches even the most experienced alphas off guard. This element of surprise is what makes sigma males so dangerous to alpha males, as they never quite know what to expect. That's not to say that sigma males are malicious by nature, far from it, but when threatened or provoked, they are more than capable of unleashing a hidden power that many alphas can easily underestimate. And that's why alphas tend to steer clear of sigmas. The risk of an unknown disaster is too great for them to take on. The problem is when an immature alpha persistently tries to threaten or bully a sigma. That's when things can quickly go from bad to worse. Being on the receiving end of a sigma's wrath can be an unforgettable experience. Number 2. Sigma males never back down if challenged. While alpha males generally operate in short-term spur-of-the-moment strategies to get what they want right away, sigma males take a much more calculated approach to their decisions, prioritizing slower but surer ways of achieving their goals. Unlike alpha males who are often speeding ahead with abandon, sigma males apply their wisdom and insight before taking any sort of action and tend to have a profound understanding and appreciation for the consequences of each move they make. They rarely act on impulse or without considering the bigger picture, making them far less likely to take risks or find themselves in untenable positions. Alpha males cannot compete with this level of forethought and strategy and will generally avoid clashing with someone who can predict their approaches before they even make them. This farsightedness gives Sigma males an undeniable advantage when it comes to outmaneuvering alpha males. A fact that is known all too well by those who bear witness to these interactions. Number 3. The impossibility of outwitting a sigma. Alpha males thrive on being in charge at all times and will not easily accept any challenge to their authority or power. This makes them fiercely protective of their position of dominance. And in the end, this craving for control can lead them to single-handedly drive away potential rivals, even if these rivals are sigma males. Rather than risk being outwitted or outmaneuvered, alpha males far prefer to keep their distance from anyone they might see as a threat to their reign, regardless of any beneficial partnerships that could be established by coming together. Even if a sigma offers valuable advice or insight into a given situation, an alpha would still be hesitant to give away too much of his personal or professional power in favor of another person's opinion. The truth is that alpha males' priorities lie mainly within themselves and their desires for supremacy. Anything outside of that realm is likely seen as unwanted interference and quickly discarded as such. While alpha males are capable of forming successful alliances with sigma males, it is a rare prospect as the pride and control-hungry alpha often has difficulty accepting advice or commands from someone they don't see as holding authority. Instead of putting themselves in a vulnerable position, alphas tend to choose the path of least resistance and avoid sigmas altogether. Number 4. Alpha's Awareness of Benefiting from Sigma's Intelligence Despite all this, Alpha males can benefit greatly from understanding the true potential of sigma males. 
An Alpha who is aware of a Sigma's intelligence and resourcefulness can accomplish more than he could ever dream of on his own. When Sigma males are given the freedom to make their own contributions, they can push boundaries and create unique solutions that Alphas would never have imagined. With a clear understanding from both sides, a collaboration between Alpha and Sigma can be incredibly successful. It is only when Alphas treat Sigma males with respect and recognize their potential that the two can work together in harmony. When this happens, there is no limit to what they can achieve. The key for alpha males is to learn how to let go of the desire for control and empower sigma males to take the lead. This will open up a new world of opportunities and help both alpha and sigma truly thrive. Alphas can benefit immensely from understanding how to work with sigmas in order to maximize their potential. So why put themselves at risk when the rewards are so great? Working with a sigma can be one of the most rewarding and fruitful experiences an alpha can have. All it takes is some awareness, understanding, and respect. That's all it takes to make a powerful team. Number 5. Tactical Movement When an alpha male is threatened or provoked, he will often use brute force or aggression to get his way. On the other hand, sigma males prefer a more tactical approach and will use their wits and clever strategies. He knows when to walk away, how to escape the situation, and how to outmaneuver his opponents. He is aware of body language and can read people's emotions, allowing him to know when it's time to take a step back or remain in the fight. A Sigma's ability to be tactical can be an invaluable asset in a dangerous situation. Knowing when to strategically retreat or simply wait for a better opportunity can often be more effective than forcing one's way through. When a Sigma is threatened, he can walk away and plan for his next move without ever having to resort to violence. Not only does this confuses the Alpha and makes him second-guess his own strategies, but it also allows Sigma to stay in control of the situation. Number 6. The Dangerous Power of Sigma's Observation and Silence Sigma males possess an unusual ability to read situations quickly, making decisions long before alpha males have a chance to act. This acute perception gives them an edge in any situation or dispute. As the silent observer on the sidelines, sigma males have become incredibly skilled at analyzing and predicting outcomes based on what's happening in the present moment and preparing for whatever may come next. These intense analytical skills make it difficult for alpha males to compete or outthink sigmas, as they cannot nearly match their level of insight or understanding. Alpha males know that if their moves are not calculated precisely, their authority over the situation could be blatantly challenged by a sigma male who will not back down no matter what. It's clear why these two kinds of men tend to keep their distance. Alpha males do not want to cross paths with someone unpredictable whose power is unknown because they don't know what sigmas are up to. The sheer level of observation and silence demonstrated by sigma males can be intimidating even for alpha males. This is often a strong factor in dissuading them from engaging with someone of this caliber directly. Number 7. The Double-Edged Sword of Alpha's Aggressive and Dominant Attitude Alpha males thrive on being in power, seeking to exercise superiority, no matter what situation presents itself. In contrast, Sigma males are often content to be observers on the sidelines, keenly analyzing each move made by those around them before deciding whether or not intervention is necessary. The two types of men do not mix well due to their contrasting approaches to life. In contrast, an alpha male seeks to assert control over any situation, a sigma prefers to stay out of it until absolutely necessary. This difference can put alpha men in a compromising position when they come face to face with a sigma. Not only can alpha males not outthink or predict the moves of a sigma, but their aggression and dominance can be taken as a challenge that will motivate an already calculated being to show them who is really in control. This attitude could cause serious damage to the Alpha's reputation and his standing in the social hierarchy. That's why many of them avoid any confrontation with Sigma males altogether. 
While an alpha male may feel that he should be the one calling all the shots in any given setting, a sigma male will not hesitate to put him in his place if he attempts to take control over a situation that doesn't belong to him. Alpha males would rather stay out of the line of fire than risk embarrassing themselves by challenging someone they know they can't beat. Number 8. The Mutual Respect Between the Two Despite their differences, alpha males and sigma males are two powerful breeds of men who rarely cross paths. They actually share a deep respect for one another. Alphas respect the intelligence and resourcefulness of sigmas, while sigmas admire alpha's strength and courage. Both types of men understand what it takes to be successful, and each can learn something from the other. While alpha males may be more outgoing and direct, sigmas are often quietly powerful and can bring a unique perspective to the table. Both types share an unspoken code of honor, with alpha men valuing strength and confidence, while sigma men value humility and wisdom. Although the differences between these two powerful types may be stark, what keeps them apart is also what brings them together, understanding and respect. This admiration allows alpha men to preserve their unique traits without threatening their counterparts. Number 9. Neither want to exercise their power over the other directly. A true collaboration between these two types of men can be hard to achieve. While an enthusiastic pairing of an alpha and a sigma does hold the potential for great success, it can also be difficult for them to find common ground and establish working trust. The alpha male's tendency to take charge of any situation may clash with the sigma male's laid-back attitude and calculated approach, leading to conflicts that cannot easily be rectified, mainly if both men are headstrong in their own convictions. This lack of understanding or empathy between the two could easily lead to outbursts, which can have disastrous consequences on whatever task is being undertaken. This will often come from the Alpha's desire to directly influence the Sigma's decisions, which can be interpreted as control or a lack of respect for their abilities. At the same time, Sigma males tend to be more guarded and unwilling to engage in any sort of power play with an Alpha. They understand that trying to outmaneuver an Alpha could sometimes lead to disaster. Even if Sigma comes out victorious, it's not worth the amount of energy invested. He doesn't care about proving himself to anyone, so there is no point in trying to do so. He only wants to get the job done and move on. Number 10. A short story about two forces. Fire and ice are two powerful forces that can bring about destruction or create beauty, depending on their application. Fire is a wild, uncontrollable element that brings a sense of passion, danger, and chaos. It can be both destructive and liberating, consuming all in its path while providing light and heat to fuel the world around it. On the opposite end of the spectrum is ice, cool, calm, and collected. Ice has an unseen power that can suspend time if used carefully. A single look from icy blue eyes could make an entire city tremble in fear. To some, these two elements may appear to be rivals attempting to gain domination over each other. However, when fire and ice come together in perfect harmony, they can create something greater than either one alone. Fire melts the cold embrace of winter into something more manageable, while ice chills the burning heat of summer into something refreshingly soothing. Together, they represent a dualistic balance between extremes, yin and yang, that is needed for life to exist in harmony. The ability of these two forces to coexist yet remain distinctly separate has become an age-old metaphor for cooperation amongst opposites, cementing their place as timeless symbols of power within our culture.